Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got an awesome Class A motorhome for you. This is a bath and a half model with tons of space, so some hidden storage, and also a washer and dryer. I think you guys are gonna really like it. It's the 2024 FR3 34 DSF. Now down in the description of this video, I will put all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff. Uh, along with uh, my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, I would love to be the guy that works with you. There's no doubt about that. Hope you guys enjoy my style, enjoy the video. Hit that like and subscribe button for future content, travel trailers, fifth wheels, motorhomes, both 60 second and 20 minute videos. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Again, 2024 FR3 34 DS. And right when you walk in, the first thing that I notice is although this thing has the slide out on this side, look at this, it's one big super slide right here, but you get a ton of walk around space. You also have really good, incredible head height. I'm six feet tall and I don't feel cramped in this whatsoever, you know, so I'm putting that height somewhere around that seven foot range. I'll put that in specifications as well, but you get a lot of good functional space. So not only do you have a dinette here that drops down to make a bed, and some storage there up underneath on both sides. But you're gonna get massive windows, overhead storage. Behind that TV is a hidden pantry, that's incredible. I'll show you that here in a second. You can kind of see the LED lights glowing around. But everything flows so well in this floor plan, which is nice. You got your seating on one side, your cooking and entertainment on the other. You turn around up in the front. I love that mirror so you can maybe check out and see you know, what the guests are doing when you're driving down the road. But look at all the space that you get up here in the front. And one thing that I do love about this passenger setup, there's nothing blocking behind it. So you can actually lean this back, take a good snooze, have a good rest without the fear of bumping into anything. So that's pretty incredible. Another thing that I really enjoy, and I'll show you here in a moment, when I lower this bed down, is the bed stops right here. So that's a little bit different. You could, I mean, I don't recommend it, but you could drive with that down absolutely no problem because you have the head clearance most of them will come all the way down into here classic ford chassis set up here in front you're going to get the v8 the 7.3 liter they call it the godzilla godzilla engine or chassis i'm sorry but you got your electric leveling right here your different lighting controls you know obviously you can control some of the sound and whatnot right there but pretty basic dash I like seeing it plenty of space i do like how they put that diamond plating down in there just so you can kind of rough it up and tough it up you're good to go LED lights, and then your shade controls, so you get automatic shades right here. You know, a click of a button, and they go down nice and easy for you. So pretty darn cool. And then this right here also, uh, you can move this, flips to make a little, you know, a little nook to hide a couple things, but you also get a little dinner tray if you want to have a snack while on the road. Cup holder, cup holder, you're good to go. You also have a place where you can hang up, you know, a little bit of a, um, like a table or something like that with that puck there, which is always a plus. But let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's just keep chugging along. I think this is going well. Normally I have kind of my regimen where I go here, here, and here, but I like where this is going. All right, oversized dinette. It looks like it would be one of those U-shaped, but that's by design. It looks really sharp, but it's going to be more of your classic dinette with a seat over here, seat over there. Again, you do get some good storage there up underneath. You pop those metal legs out, and it comes down and rests on those wood knobs right there, and you're good to go. You also see... You have an outlet, so that is pretty darn nice. You can plug in your devices. All of these windows are going to be tinted, and they all have a little shade for you there as well. The old Dracula shade, baby. Knock out the sun. Keep the sun from sizzling. Keep some nosy eyes out. It's also an emergency exit, so pull, push, and plop. You're also going to notice throughout this coach, all the windows open, so you can open it up for a really nice cross breeze. Again, the kitchen right across from the dinette, so prime cooking position here for you. You're gonna have a single stainless steel undermounted bowl with the high-rise faucet. So you grab that, hitting those dishes from all angles. A little window there for some natural lighting, but also hopefully a good view. I like that bamboo cut board. That's pretty sweet. And then underneath, you know, really clean cut storage and access to your plumbing. So that's definitely a big time plus. You, if you need more countertop space, you simply grab that, flip it up, and you're ready to roll. 
really nice storage all the way throughout the coach and this is going to be for your cable there as well you got the GE appliances so you got your microwave right there and then your oven which is going to be a little bit bigger than most you could fit in some of those fancy Cornish hens in there my mom used to cook I used to love those little things she put Lowry seasoning salt on there they were delish uh, I don't know why I just did that glass top three stove top burner you also got a pretty cool looking little backsplash a little bit more storage up above and then right above the oven you're going to get the fantastic fan to help you suck out the steam or stink from whatever you're cooking now you see those LED lights that are running up in there that's because behind your Jensen TV you pull this latch and look at that hidden storage how freaking cool is that doesn't get any better you got a little book rack or spice rack whatever you want to put there but just extra places to put extra stuff it's also got a lip so you don't have to worry about things coming around you're looking at about a little over two knuckles deep there some drawers and then this one just kind of opens up to one big back area you're also going to see you have your furion electric fireplace so that's pretty nice puts out 5100 btus of heat has that wood look with different color flames but it's also directly across where you want it to be from your theater seating these are going to be the power theater seating so right here you can control that you got your heat you got your lighting and then you also got a little nook right there for your remotes you're also going to see usbs and universal c charger as well along with another window but when you sit down kick back and relax you're right in front of the tv so it's a prime viewing location makes it really nice and easy you know when you're uh when you're parked up just to sit back and watch a movie you can also angle that a little bit if you want a better view from the dinette too, which is a plus. Might as well show you this. This is a change from a 24 video. I watched one of, uh, I can't remember whose video it was, but I guess in the 23s, I wasn't selling them. But I guess the cabinets used to order open up from the bottom. So you'd grab it and it would flip down. Uh, or I guess grab it here and flip it down. They went back to uh, normal, I guess. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but it's pretty cool. You'll also see how it opens pretty much totally flush so at that 90 degree angle which is nice to optimize optimize your storage space I even like the fascia that's on the slide I think it looks really sharp I also like how it's not so light and bright but it's got some of those darker tones a lot of the industry is going so light and bright that it almost makes it hard to keep things clean you know I mean still in an RV you're probably going somewhere some nature or you know you don't need that much white big big refrigerator I love seeing that here are the specs on this if you want to take a pause on it but it's going to be that 12 volt so that means it's going to run off a of solar you know your battery when you're driving down the road of course shore power but it's just like the one inside your house it just runs off of a little bit different power and then right here absolutely massive freezer there as well so that's nice this is going to be your control center so there's going to be two areas for your ge appliances for your heat and your ac you have one right here and then you've got one down there, but you can turn on, uh, you know, mode. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AC, let it cool down in this front area. It'll also allow you to hear it once it kicks on here towards the end of this video when I show you that front bunk area. These are going to be your slide controls, water heater, generator, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, which, by the way, this has a 5,500 watt Yamaha as well. But you can check all your different levels for your tanks. Now, bath and a half model, and this is where this thing really separates itself from others. One, the fact that it's got a bath and a half at all, but two, this half bath is nothing to snub your nose out. It's pretty awesome. You got the old porcelain throne. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. And it's one of those smart uh, toilets, which I'll show you here in a second. But if you take a seat down, you know, I'm a bigger guy, 300 pounds, six feet tall. You know, I got a little bit of extra love in there to me, but... I am in a very, very good spot. This is definitely round belly approved for the half bath. No doubt about that. Got a mirror to show off that bowling gun, baby. We are seven days away. Seven days away from bowling, and I cannot wait. Oh, that's nice, too. You get the old Dracula shade right back there, too. Little fan. Helps circulate some of the, uh, some of the air in here. Got a pretty fancy looking uh, sink. I'm not much of a fancy guy, but that's, that's highfalutin looking right there. Oh, got the antifreeze still. You know what? Those are soft clothes. I didn't even know that. That's nice. 
So the smart toilet, this is what I was talking about. So right here, you know, you got eco mode, normal mode, empty. Pretty schnazzy. Pocket doors. Love it, love it, love it. And this bedroom is pretty incredible with its own bath back there too. So if you have the guests up front, you still get your own bathroom. You're going to see you got a, looks like a, is that a king size bed or a queen? I'll have to check the specs on that. I'll drop that down in the comments. But look at this window, emergency exit. So again, pull, push and plop. Windows on both sides that open. You're also going to get outlets and USBs on both sides as well. So outlet, outlet, USB, outlet, outlet, USB, along with a couple different cabinets. And another thing that they got here, pretty good overhead storage. Flip it on around, really incredible storage up here. You're going to have your washer and dryer combo unit in that portion. But I love the placement of that window. You can also use it as like a desk, you know, sit down, get a little work done. But it just adds in so much extra natural lighting. It just makes things feel a little bit more open uh, than, than most, you know, that have that closed off or possibly even another storage center there, which I'm not sure why you'd even really need that. Boom. And then let's see here. Storage there behind that. So both TVs have hidden storage. So that's pretty darn cool. It's on that strut system. So it's hands-free once you get it going. Big old closet to hang up all your belongings. More belongings. No, my wife would fill that up, claim everything. This is probably the drawer that I would get right there. So, babe, if you're watching, I love you again, but I need more space. That's all I would get. You should see our closet at home. It's like 80% hers. Fuse box right down there. Check what you check what you need to check if something goes out. Now, the half bath or the full bath back here, it's going to be kind of in a weird spot to where the door. I would have liked to have seen a pocket door there possibly, but it's okay. You got plenty of countertop space, plenty of drawers, stainless steel bowl. I love seeing that. Plenty of storage here. Look at that. That is nice. Another foot flush porcelain throne too. And then when you're sitting down in this, this is one of the definite perks. Usually when you get a bath and a half, you know, the bathrooms just kind of stink. You know, they're just um, just small. But again, bigger guy sitting down. Both bathrooms, round belly approved. You're happy with all the space you need. You got a shower in here with the Tri-Glide Glass Series. And that's a useful feature because it is a little bit tight coming back into here, especially if you're getting into the shower. But you hop on in. You got the nightlight. Plenty of space. Show you on down. You know, you got enough room to move around. There's not going to be room for two, but you're also not taping sponges to the wall, you know, just to kind of clean off. I didn't even turn on the lights in here. But all right, let's go up and show you that front bunk, and then let's go show you a couple things on the outside. If you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button for me. Again, this is the 2024 FR3 34 DSK. A lot to love. Look how beautiful that is. Fancy, fancy. MSRP on this is uh, $198,537. Obviously, your boy's got some deals on wheels, so we'll get you hooked up with a better deal than that. But uh, that's where the manufacturer's got to be. All right, so this is your key. You take this out. You can't work it on the front. Hit lower and raise. And check that out. doesn't get much better than that and you see that stopper you still get that head height for when you're climbing in there and you're sitting down but then right here you can use that back area for maybe some of more, your more valuables because when this part lifts up it'll completely block off that area and you cannot get in unless you have that key and turn it to the on position so it's kind of like a built-in safe here for the front of the RV so that is really nice I've had a couple customers they shared a story about how they put some rifles up there or maybe even some jewelry things of that nature stuff that you just don't want people going out or even the kids or you know anything like that but i love it this is that head height there and you can see i mean this is fairly tall it's going right up to about the old, <laughs> the old nipple height 
but uh, a lot to love about it. But all right, let's head around the outside. So again, 2024 FR3 34DS. I guess I messed that up earlier. But um, yeah, look at that. Specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. You got big old tires. 245-70 R19.5s. Automatic entry step, so when you close the door, they're gonna go right in on their own, so that's pretty nice, just a good little feature to have. Outside TV with the old Jensen, along with your marine grade outside speakers and some of your Bluetooth controls as well, so you can play the game on the speakers out here. Uh, maybe play some music, you know, Jimmy Buffett, unfortunately, RIP. Play some Jimmy Buffett today for him all day. Battleborn lithium ion battery, along with some of your controls there for the uh, the bumps. Look at that. Some wet storage, if you want. Goes all the way through there. You also have a little 12 volt action, and then some extra plug ends. You got a little place where you can uh, unscrew that and get access through the bottom there as well. Plastic slam latch doors. More storage, low point drains behind this one. Get your gas and electric water heater right there. Uh, those are Continental hybrids, by the way, for the tires. Forgot to mention that. I think I just said the size. And then right behind this little black door right there, that's gonna be your LP Quick Connect. So you can hook up, you know, a grill, Get things going at the campground, really make it really nice and easy for you to you know, do any sort of cooking on the road. I love the setup of that bumper. You're also gonna see you got a seven-way plug, and then you got your hitch right there. Max tongue weight 500 pounds, max trailer weight 5,000 pounds. So pretty good storage on that, or pretty good uh, durability, I guess you'd say. Slide topper, love seeing that. You don't have to worry about anything going on with the slide, those really protect any type of debris from falling on top. Or even today, you know, it's a warm day, the sun's out. Um, you know, the sun's not beating down on those seals over the year, kind of crisping them up. And I call it kind of that driveway effect on a rubber band. So this is gonna be your docking station. So you got hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, all your different flushes, your blank tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank, and then your sewer outlet connection. Place where you can hook up your power cord. If I didn't mention it before, this is going to be the gas engine, so it's going to be that V8 7.3 liter, the Godzilla. Godzilla, baby. The V10 did pretty good, but the V8 is going to be that kind of that beat me up, keep me forever type engine. Forgot to show you too. Laminated. That is nice to have. You know, you don't push on it. It's not flimsy. Uh, you're just good to go. More storage there behind that. And this is going to be that generator. Again, that Yamaha 5500 propane behind this door. And then you're also going to see you got side cameras there too as well. And I like how they're down here. So that way when you're driving, you know, usually they're up in the mirror, but you don't have to worry about it as far as a blind spot kicking out. You don't have that little window there where you see your wife's purse hanging out, but it goes right on that car level. So that way you can see right where you need to. So no blind spots. But all right, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. See you next time. My name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 FR3 34 DSF. Have a good night. See ya.